Alrighty YouTube, welcome back to another video, it's Sam from Motorsports. Um, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the 2021 Hellcat Red Eye Widebody. Um, I've been trying to do this review for a while, but it's been raining and the weather's just not too great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the video. We're going to be explaining um, where we got it, um, how many miles we're on it originally, how many miles we're on it now, what do I think about owning it after four weeks. Let's go ahead and kick right into it. So yeah, here's the motor. And it's just looking beautiful. We got the uh, supercharger. Um, which is basically a supported by a V8 Hemi, uh, which is supercharged, of course. Um, you got the cooler right here and then the supercharger underneath. And, of course, the fat can and air intake. Um, so, so far, this car has been putting out an amazing amount of power. Um, I would choose this car over a Lamborghini or a Porsche, um, Tesla, or whatever. This car is just ridiculous and it's fun. Um, so, yeah, let's go and kick on to the other uh, extra body components of this vehicle. So if we come over here to the wheels, we got a support by a Brembo brake. Um, these are Brembos. Um, I'm a big fan of the color. They added on to the uh, car. They got the orange scheme and then they got the yellow uh, fender flare or whatever it is up there, uh, the splitter. And um, so it just, it just goes really good with the car. I'm glad they added that um, orange caliper. It makes the car look really good. Um, of course, you can change that wherever, whenever you want, um, but it's just a cool extra add-on they um, put onto the car. And especially for damn near a hundred thousand dollar vehicle, they better put extra add-ons like that. So, yeah, those are the brakes. Let's go and uh, go into the extra body component of the car. So yeah, um, this is the wide body. So if you guys can tell, it, the fender flares come out of the car. So it's a um, an amazing look on the vehicle. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the non-wide bodies. I don't think the Challenger looks good um, like that. But yeah, so here's the wide body. Here's what the stance looks like in the back. Um, it's really different in person if you guys take a look at it um, I'll go and compare it right here so here's what the body panel originally is right there and that's how much it sticks out so it sticks out a major amount so yeah here's the car on the outside beautiful beautiful car um, here is the back side So there's the car on the outside. Overall, my rating on the car on the outside, especially the wide body, would have to be a nine and a half out of 10. Um, like I said, I would not go to a different car if it wasn't a wide body. Um, I'm not a big fan of the non-wide bodies, um, especially the Challenger. Um, the regular Charger I'm a big fan of, uh, which is non-wide body and wide body, but if I had to go with a non-wide body and they didn't have non-wide bodies, I'd go with the Charger. So yeah. Here's the Hellcat Challenger, red eye, wide body. Of course, you gotta have that red gym inside the eye, if you guys can see that. So yeah, let's go and uh, get into the interior of the car. Alrighty guys, so we're entering the passenger side. Um, so this is a white exterior with a red and black mixture interior. Um, so you got the red seats, uh, which is more maroon than red, uh, personally. But yeah, you got the carbon fiber in here on the inside. Uh, I'm gonna go and take a seat in here real quick. So you get the carbon fiber in here, um, which is all around here as well. So yeah, here is the passenger side. If I go and close this door so the window glare isn't messing this all up, um, you got the red in here and you got the black. So this is all a black, uh, black and red uh, mixture. Um, I go and step back out. Um, back the back seat is also a red and black mixture. Um, there's not that much room in the back. Honestly, I don't have any leg room when I sit back there or someone sits back there. There's literally no leg room whatsoever um, But there is a massive amount of leg room in the uh, passenger and driver's seat um, So yeah, let's go and kick it over to the driver's side. Alrighty guys, so now we're in the driver's side um, If you guys look It looks the exact same on the door panel um, If we come over here, um, let me go and start up the car real quick. So now we are in the driver's side um, and here is what the driver's side heads-up display looks like. It's got the red and then it all glows up in the dark. It's actually extremely bright. Um, you got the steering wheel, which is supported by uh, paddle shifters if you want to use the manual shift mode. Um, so it's a very nice clean steering wheel. I love this. It's really clean. Um, if we go down here, um, we put on the new pedals. Um, they came with the car and I just decided to put them on because they're more grippy uh, than the feet. Um, but yeah, those are really nice. If you guys got a Hellcat and you're not using them, you guys should. And here's what they look like. If you guys want to buy them for your car, um, I'm pretty sure they sell them on Amazon. So if you want to get them, I'd buy them. Um, so 
So you also got the floor match, so the SRT, and they're um, on, got an outline of the red, which matches the seat. You also have the SRT logo inside the seat as well, which is really neat. Um, so the, all the detail they put inside this car is just amazing. Um, they didn't half-ass it. I've heard that these cars are built really poorly. I just can't see it, um, but I'm sure they are. It is Mopar. Um, but of course, we got the headliner, which is black. Um, and I like how they didn't add all that red in there because if you put too much red, it um, it's just too much. But I like how they put the red and the black theme. It looks really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and close the hood. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get inside. I'm going to start it up for you so I can show you guys what the uh, display looks like uh, on the head unit. All right, guys, before we get inside, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the uh, startup sounds like. This is a stock muffler. There's nothing deleted. Um, so it's bone stock. We just got it probably about three weeks ago. So here we go. Alright guys, so now we are inside the vehicle. Uh, I'm going to go and start this bad boy up so you guys, I can show you guys what the uh, heads up display looks like. Uh, the head unit, or I should say. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So you got the red Hellcat logo. So it lights up in the dark. Uh, you guys can't see it right now, but it would light up in the dark. And it's extremely bright. You got the red key in use. We don't go to that black key. We're not drive, driving a Honda Civic. Um, but you got 220 on the dash. Um, very clean setup. I love this setup. I love the way they manufactured this car. Um, everything on this car is perfectly clean. Um, but yeah, if we go over here to the main screen that controls everything, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to know how to set up the radio and all that, but if we go and click the SRT page, um, it'll forward us to this page, which we got auto, custom, sport, and track. Um, these two are familiar. They're the same. Um, but this one you um, get a lot more traction of course because of course it's track um, You got the chiller mode which chill, chills the uh, supercharger uh, You got the performance pages you got drive modes So here's everything that explains it you got 797 horsepower on the track transmissions everything's track if You change it to sport everything changes to sport you click on custom um, This you can customly set up everything you want so if I go to custom setup I can change it to 500 horse 797 um, so I can trace everything, the trans, the paddle shifters on and off, steering, suspension, everything like that. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, this car also has um, launch, and we have not tested that yet. So that's going to conclude today's video. Um, if you guys really did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Um, we're almost at 500 miles. Um, that's when we unlock full performance. So when the full performance is unlocked, I'm going to be making a video on uh, what the difference is like. Um, what the launch control is like and I'll set up a GoPro and I'll film everything on that and uh, I'm going to be making a video of the difference between the black key and the red key pretty soon and a whole bunch of other videos so if you guys are liking the content that I'm going to be bringing out make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe make sure to comment down below and yeah your love is much appreciated I'll see you guys later peace